The first to be decorated was the Director General of the Internal Security Organization, Brigadier General Charles Oluka, followed by his deputy, Colonel Amy Katawazi. <laughs> Representing the decorated officers, Brigadier General Oluka, who was promoted from the rank of colonel, challenged his ESO staff to enroll for available senior courses, further emphasizing the importance of joint training. A number of ESO officers have over time climbed up in UPDF ranks, but with only the basic military training. Joint training of Ande is key for bonding, shared ideology and philosophy and for the effective conduct of joint operations. The Chief of Defense Forces, Wilson Mbasumbadi, urged the decorated officers to use their ranks as enabling tools to defend and preserve the country's territorial integrity and avoid all tendencies injurious to the UPDF. We have not promoted you to abuse those offices you will uh, be taking over or to create personal small kingdoms within the same department. Some people want to be small kings when there are no kingdoms. So avoid the intrigue. You know these vices are more disastrous to the force than some armed groups that we have been running around with. Meanwhile, he adds that the ranks are part of the continuous professionalization and standardization of the UPDF, adding that future promotions are to be based on placeability, usability, and availability of the budget. So if you, you propose promotions for people, you must also indicate that there is money to pay them because it has implications on the wage bill. So until we have money, we shall not promote. Until you satisfy us with the causes, we shall not promote. Until we have a place to place you, hakuna ranga ingini. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV Weekend Edition.